Welcome to this five-minute demonstration on the fundamentals of WonderDoc EHR and Practice Management System. Let's begin by opening the program. The first thing you see after logging in is the WonderDoc home screen. The icons here are the main areas of the program. The sign-in is for manually signing in patients who don't want to use a computer. The EHR is where providers manage all of the patient's medical records. The patient data is where the front desk enters the patient's demographic, insurance, and contact information. The scheduling is for making appointments. Billing is where you manage all transactions related to the patient or insurance company. Reports is for viewing patient and office reports like day sheets, patient ledgers, and practice statistics. Purchases is for selling products to anyone walking into your office. In marketing is for sending birthday cards, reactivation notices, or referral cards. So let's show you how the program manages a new patient from first contact to checkout. When a patient calls for an appointment, the front desk would click Patient Data. They would click New Patient and enter the patient's first and last name. As you can see, the program automatically creates an account number, username, and default password. The username and password is for patients to sign in on our kiosk application. Now we could enter more patient information here, but let's go ahead and see how an appointment is made. Click Scheduling at the top of the window. In this window, you can see the months of the year, the days of the week, or multiple providers in one view. Let's say the new patient wishes to make an appointment at 9.30 in the morning on Wednesday. Select the time blocks for the appointment and start typing the first few letters of their last name. You can also choose a custom color code and description for the appointment. Now let's say the patient comes in for their appointment. They can either sign in using our kiosk application or the front desk can manually sign them in. When the patient is in the treatment room, the doctor would have the EHR window open and see that the patient has signed in. From here, the doctor can view their records by selecting their name and clicking View Exam. Now if the patient signed in at the kiosk, the doctor can see what the patient filled out in the Subjective tab. After reviewing and editing the subjective information, the next step would be to complete the objective findings in this tab. With our finger, we can easily select areas of subluxation in the spine or extremities, select a treatment technique, select any additional custom findings or tests, select hypertonic or spastic muscles, and select areas of tenderness. The next step is to select the assessment tab, where diagnoses can be made and managed easily. Click any area on this diagram and choose from a selected list of diagnoses associated with that area. Finally, enter any products or services associated with the treatment in the plan tab. Note that some treatments are automatically added based on what is selective for objective findings. For example, the program will state what areas you adjusted and the proper CPT code based on what was selected as subluxations in the spine or extremities diagram. Another example is if you do massage or any other treatment for spastic muscles, the program will automatically list those muscles in your treatment based on what was selected in the muscle diagram. We call this an objectively generated treatment protocol, which is much faster and easier than using macros in other programs. Now once the notes are done, you can either save the notes for editing later by clicking Update or digitally sign and close. Since this is a new patient, you may want to do an exam in addition to your SOAP notes. Click the History tab to review the patient's medical history. Again, this information can be completed by the patient using the kiosk application. Click Exams to manage exams and re-exams. In this example, we will click on New Exam. From here, we would simply use our finger to select buttons next to the test or findings that are either positive or negative. Record your physical exam findings, neurovascular findings, musculoskeletal exam findings, functional exam findings, and your diagnostic test findings. Once the exam is completed, you can select EHR at the top to enter another patient's records. 
Now that the patient is finished and needs to pay for their visit, the front desk will automatically see the charges from the notes entered into their billing account. So all the receptionist needs to do is collect and post the charged amount, whether that's a copay, coinsurance, deductible, or cash fee. The patient is given a receipt for payment and scheduled for the next appointment. This concludes our demo of how WonderDoc easily manages a new patient from check-in to check-out. As you can see, the system is streamlined and intuitive, so notes can be done in as little as 15 seconds and exams in less than two minutes, all before the patient leaves the treatment room.